Hello, my name is Lou Taylor. I'm a composer based in Bristol in the, in the United Kingdom and um, this is Let's Write a Video Game Soundtrack. Well, Let's Write Video Game Music, whatever you want to call it. So, last time in part 1b, uh, uh, we were finishing off the melody and we came up with a nice little melody which I'm quite pleased with. Um, it's a really nice development, I think, of from where I came from in the past. You know, it's got some nice inflections from two, uh, at least two of the previous themes that I've used, so I'm really pleased with that. Uh, now, the problem we were having last time, you should go and check out the last couple of videos if you haven't seen that those already, but the problem I was having is that it was getting quite muddy. There's an awful lot going on, there's a lot of parts. I'm not really pleased with that. So, what we ended up with was this quite muddy section here where it's like got this cool counterline, but it just doesn't it sticks out too much it's like you know a big big tall man that looks out of place in a crowd like me really i suppose that's what i'm talking about here um but basically it's just it's just not working it's just not and i don't really want to remove any of the actual harmony lines here. so i'm going to add those four i'm going to add eight new bars one more cool and what I'm going to do is put that in the piccolo. Whoops. And I'm going to go up. Oh, God. Ah, oh, brilliant. Okay. I might end up... I might end up using a recorder. But we'll see. I think the piccolo will be quite nice. So piccolo. And then I'm going to put the counter line here. In the oboe. High above. High above. Okay. There we go. Except... Not like that. <laughs> so, that's nice and quiet. Now I'm going to get rid of the, any other counter lines here, so like the violas. It's kind of unfortunate because I just spent quite a long time in the last end of the last video making this all Davisi and nice, but we don't even need to do that anymore, so that's not great. <laughs> the struggles. Right, okay. I still want to keep the Chelly and Davisi though, so what I'm going to do is just extrapolate that and, and put it over here. Paste, reduced, uh, explode. Yeah, that's, that's good. Then, I'm going to put that in here. I'm going to paste that into the downstairs voice. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. And I'm just going to put that there. So that should sound fine. I think I'm happy with that, to be honest. Okay, okay. Here's what I'm going to do. This is going to be nice. If I move that and I put that here. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. And then... <laughs> right. And then we'll just continue with this. Uh, here. And here. Oh, this is not good. Uh, yeah. That's fine. Okay. Brilliant. What the hell? What? Okay, whatever. Right. Mm. In that case, let me see it back. That's fine. Now, that's going to be quite nice, I think. Don't need that anymore. Do you kind of want that? Now, what I might do is move that up the octave. Oh yes, right. That's good. I'm really liking that. Oh no, that's right. That's in the right place. Make it pianissimo. And then I might extrapolate. 
that. Don't know how this is going to sound really. I'm not sure if I'm liking those crow tiles there. Might just put that in here. No, definitely going to sound better out there. Mm hmm. Okay, that's cool. And then I'm going to take the initial baseline idea. This this sort of idea here. And I'm going to reduce it all into the base here. Okay. And then we're going to make that. We're going to make that all up stem. Or down stem, sorry. Move it up the octave. Make every one of these a quaver. A crotch here, sorry. Get rid of them. Now, the reason why I'm going to do I'm going to make it pits. Uh, by the way, I'd like to disclaim quickly <laughs> that I haven't done any of this in between the videos. It, I've just actually stopped recording the other one and started recording this one. Um, haven't really, haven't done anything in between. So I'd like to keep this one completely live process because I want it to be interactive. You know, please leave some comments. Please tell me what you think, where you want me to go with this. I want it to be interactive. Um, that would make my day, actually. Okay. Make this pianissimo. Make that pianissimo. I might add some harp here as well at some point. Oh dear, no, we don't want that. It's a bit pointless actually putting these. I just realised it doesn't make any difference. I don't know why I did that. The vibraphone can't diminuendo. It's just a. It's an attack instrument. It's a percussion, so it doesn't. It's uh. It's a. Doesn't make any difference. I guess that's just sort of the, I mean, for the player, it might be quite useful to see that because they might want to, there's definitely ways you can sort of do that. On the piano sometimes, for example, you, you want the player to feel like they can crescendo or diminuendo through a note, even just one note. And it's that feeling of doing it that makes them play it in a way which isn't the usual way of playing it. There's quite a lot of that in Beethoven, um, but in this instance, I'm playing it on my computer, so I don't care. <laughs> right. That's cool. Make that P. Make these PP. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's what you want. Okie dokie. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, the horn. How could I forget the horn? Now, I actually quite like that in the horn. It's really soft. It's still really soft, so I might just keep it in there, but... It might be nice to change it up or something. Not really sure where else to put it, though. Could put it in the violas. No, actually. I'm going to put it in the cello. It might not blend that well, but it also might blend really well. Especially if I make it saltasto. And muted, actually. I don't know if you can do both of those things in the sample library I've got, though. So there wouldn't be much point in doing that. I think I'm going to have to pick one or the other. I'm going to keep it as saltasto for now. In real life, if this was for real players... I'd probably mute it and make them do saltasto because that would be super, super warm um, and soft and wispy. And that's exactly what I want here. So, 
I really, really want it to blend as well as possible with the clarinets. But you can only do one in my sample library at a time, so unfortunately, that's just how it is. Okay. Let's hear this. Huh. Okay, B section definitely needs to come here. So we've got almost we got over a minute now. That's fine with this of this little section. Quite like how it develops and changes. Bit of a swell here. And then just quiet down. Nice transition into the B section. Not a huge amount of harmonic change here, but this is meant to be a looping ambient track and doesn't really need it. I don't think, yeah. Uh you don't it's just meant to be a lazy afternoon track. I mean just how it is, I think. Oh yeah, I would like to add some harp here somehow. You know what? I figured it out. There we go. What I'm gonna do? Explode. No, that's not what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna paste it in just like that. Why does it do that? Right. Okay, then I'm going to make all of these one voice. All down stem. Okay. Now, I'm going to make it... The good thing about this as well for the harp, it's completely diatonic, so you don't even need to worry about pedal changes in this section. I don't think. Well, you shouldn't. I haven't put any pedal. I mean, it's it's all in it's all in uh, natural notes anyway, so it's fine. <sighs> okay, okay. Where is? I'm gonna make them all harmonics. Okay, what I'm gonna do though, is I'm definitely gonna make them into the. I'm gonna put them in the down stem voice now. Just, whoops, I suppose what I mean is. Uh, what I mean is, I suppose, put these in the up stem voice is what I meant to do. Yes. Okay. I'm just going to copy and paste those two bars into this bit too. <coughs> All right. Okay. And we should probably make all of that harmonics too. Fantastic. That's readable. Nice. Very pleased with that. Okay, let's just, let's give it a listen. We haven't listened to it all the way through from there, so let's go.
la la Definitely going to be flat, I think. We'll see. Ow. Sorry. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see where we want to go with that. I mean, that's what we're trying to work out. So. Okay, I think what I'm going to have to do here, I don't know, I don't know what to do. I'm just kind of like trying to work out the direction I want to take it in because I could go down this sort of funky jazzy thing so where I've Ultimately, I don't want to go too far away in terms of the key because I do just want to come back in a loop to the D, uh, whatever it is, <laughs> D Mixolydian. So, um, if I go to B flat, I could definitely come back. I don't know how yeah, because I haven't figured it out. Well, I, I'm definitely going to B-flat, though, because I think that's a nice enough change of key. Subtle and ambient still. It kind of fits. Dum. Bum. Bum. Yeah, like that. No, I just want that. I just want it in the, the down stem voice. I, I mean, oh no, the up stem voice then, I guess. <laughs> Get rid of that. Oh yeah, here we go. Duh. Oh yeah, I think I'm going to have... Get rid of the pits there. Make it oh, okay. There's strings. There it is. Okay. And then Oh, and then the clarinet could take over the melody here. On the fifth on the seventh. It wasn't so.
not sure how to get back to D yet. I haven't worked it out the best way. But I think a nice chord progression. It's very much jazz influenced. Uh, I've not got a problem with that. Huh. Okay. Quite liking this little tune. Yeah. Something like that. That's related as well. So if I do this and then make that a triplet. together okay that goes back nicely so okay that's quite nice I quite like that phrase Oh, you could change there nicely. I'm hearing uh Na -da. Maybe I'm not hearing that. Maybe I'm hearing a G, a G chord. Maybe the second time around I could do that. going off in a random direction for some reason. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with the rest of this yet. Like, I don't know what sort of... I want a change of texture somehow, and I don't want it to be the same as any of this, really. And I don't... Maybe we don't want that... Bum. Ba. Bum. Ba. Da. Maybe we change it to sort of like a boom. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Or like even maybe a bit faster. Let's try that a second. Da, 
could do something like that. It's not as lazy though. If I do, and I am going for the lazy vibe. Or I could do. Huh, yeah, that's a tricky one. Maybe with some pizzicato. Oh, I'm tempted to just. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do as I'm gonna write down this little last thing. Just this little. little. Oh, don't know what happened there with the cellos, but I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna call it a day for today. Because I've been recording for quite a while now. Because I did the last video in this one, in this session. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll just do that for now. I don't know whether to do. Oh, so so many choices. Please let me know what you think in the description. What do you prefer, this or so like this sort of thing? So let's just. I'll just show you the difference. I'll, I'll notate it first. I'll, I'll orchestrate it. See, I'll put that on a C, why not? No, sorry. Uh, a D. And then, violence. So you can have a... What should I give them? An F. I don't think I need to include any more than that. I don't know whether to have it pits or not. Maybe not. Whoops. Oh, sorry. Wrong no, I will keep that pits. So this is the choice. I've just realised I can do both. I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I don't even need to worry about it. So let's hear this. Whoa. Just open the bin. Right. Um... What I'm going to do is put that on a P and make these all pianissimo. And then I might double some of this in the woodwinds as well. So I think the flutes can have some of that. In fact, they can probably have all of it, really. And then the... I won't give them any of the other lines. Hmm, maybe the yeah. Let's let's hit. Oh, oh, I really, really want to use a maraca now. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, not a maraca. A castanet. That's what I want. I'm gonna add a castanet. I just had this little in my head. I just really need to do it. Uh, let's put it there for now. I don't really care. Yes. Uh, 
Yeah, I think it might be triplet this. Is that right? Is that too quick? No, that's perfect. So we want that there, I think. Let's hear this. Oh no. Bum dun bum bum dun da dun da. Is that what I want? I don't know. No. Bum dun da da Yeah. Like this. Oh yeah. That would sound much better with a real castanet, trust me. <laughs> it's not playing that very tightly. And it would be much subtler than that. And much more tight. It would, it, I think I'm going to keep that. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong. But yeah, definitely. That's that. No, that can not do that. And then I'm going to do this. For the sake of... Yeah, okay. Oh, this is quite a nice beat, actually. I got it right there. I, s I know I said I would stop here, but I've just got to finish this. Oh, it doesn't. Why has it done this to me? Oh no. Oh no, my idea's gone. Okay, what I want to do is this. get to the G chord. Yes. Okay. Right. That's what I'm hearing in my head. So let's just copy that across. I'm not going to have that there. I'm just going to have it on this second beat here. And I might actually include it on, in a different instrument a little bit more subtly. I'm not sure what. Maybe the vibraphone. We'll leave it on the oh, C can work. Yeah, that that works nicely. Uh, and then that can go down to the yeah, it works, that leads kinda of down. Okay, that's nice. That is super nice. Right, um,
Right, let's hear that. Maybe the marimba would be better for that. Oh, whoops. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Uh... I like that anymore. This perhaps. Okay, okay, I'm actually really pleased with that. And then we'll have a little bit of a transition for like eight bars where it's just smoothly leading back harmonically into D again. So it goes something like. Well, maybe I will just go there. Okay, very nice. I'm really pleased with with how this is going so far. I'm um, liking this B section. This is definitely a lot tidier. I accomplished a lot. Okay, well look, you know, it's been great. Again, once again, I really hope you guys enjoyed this one and it's helpful. Um, and I hope you guys uh, subscribe. Please subscribe and like and comment uh, and share the video and, and see if your friends like it. It all just really helps me out and encourages me and motivates me to make more. Uh, and I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying sharing this content with you. Uh, I want it to be interactive, so please do comment. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye. Take care.